Rod Hember here, and I have a passage for you, uh, and it relates to something that's happened in my life recently that I need to make a comment on. I'm reading from the Bible. It is Romans chapter 8. <laughs> um, I'll be okay. Verse 19. For all creation is waiting eagerly for the future day when God will reveal who his children really are. Against its will, all creation has been subjected to the curse of of sin. I have a beautiful example of that. You see, I just bought a new computer not long ago and it has Vista on it. Yes, it's true. I haven't had a blue screen crash of death since the Windows 95 days. And this is three times uh, the blue screen crash of death, besides the fact that 40% of 100% of all the programs I download don't work on it. But I have good news for you. The Bible also says, so you have not received a spirit that makes you fearful as slaves. Instead, you've received God's spirit when he adopted you as his own children. So I'm here to announce to all of those who subscribe to my YouTube account and care to listen, I will not be dominated by Vista. No, no. Oh, no. Because, see, while a lot of people are complaining about Vista, they're complaining and they're whining and they're, you know, being critical, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the weapons of warfare that are not carnal. I'm going to pray for the deliverance of my Vista program on my computer. Now, I'm just letting you know that. So, I'm not going to be frustrated at this recent crash. I'm not going to be upset. I'm going to pray. God is still on the throne, and even though Vista is an example of the cursed, sin-cursed earth, like it says in Genesis chapter 4, sin lurks waiting at the computer, but you must overcome it. Well, it doesn't say waiting at the computer. It says waiting at the door when God is speaking to Cain, but, you know, you get the idea. Okay, I'm, I'm finished now. Thank you.